he came over and my brother went to go buy some liquor so he left me home alone for four n****s four of them that n is throw that down that's not a good big brother i'm not gonna lie you don't do that oh. and today we are watching my first train ran on me i want to start by saying i'm sorry we're watching this this is gonna be a great video though and i know one person that got a train ran on her and one of my partners was involved in that train. I said, why would you do something so egregious? He said, bro, I was just there. I might as well do it. Hi, I'm here with my little sister to tell y'all the story of when I got my first train ran on me, okay? And 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 recording this is actually insane. So this is somebody's child. Imagine they came across this shit. It, this, shit is, this shit got 2.8 million, eight years. Niggas see this, bro. Okay. So we started off like this. It was a cold summer morning. Like, how, how many? What? How many degrees was it that day? Like 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my brother and friends came over. They look so good. Extra jewels. <laughs> oh my gosh. My brother and her friends. So they came over and, um,. They came over and my brother went to go buy some liquor. So he left me home alone for four days for them. That is throw, that down. That's not a good big brother. I'm not going to lie. You don't do that. Oh, this nigga left his sister alone for four niggas, bro. And uh, they were sitting on the couch, two on the opposite side. Oh my God. And one of them was just like, he was talking mad nasty. One of them took a his phone and he started playing stuff that was like, ah. I was like, what the fuck is freak ass niggas? This is like, uh, like this is a weird. And why the fuck all my niggas? Like, hey, I'm about to go get some, go get some liquor. Oh yeah, let's go. We all sliding. What the fuck? I'm leaving you home at my crib for while I just slide. And then, and then with shorty, and, and then why is he playing corn with a bunch of other niggas around? What type of friend group is this? Is that like, I didn't know what the fuck that was. So then oh I God. was like, you know what? I'm going to go use the bathroom because like, I just had to get out of there. I was scared. I was like 14, 15. Oh one of them God. bitches. I can't do this. I cannot do this. So then I went to the bathroom. This was, yeah, bro, something, this isn't right. Her brain got fucked up. So go pee. And like I'm sitting on the toilet seat and he walking on the bathroom. So I fly up off the toilet seat and like, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Pee's running down my leg. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you need to... I was like, you need to get the fuck up right now. So then, like, as he doing that, I'm taking tissue up to wipe the pee that's running down my leg. So then, he's like, why are you acting like that? Like, you scared? I was like, scared of what? Like, what can you do to me? He's like, oh. <laughs> so then... Uh, I cleaned the pee, I washed my hands, I turned around, he come behind me, and he just started kissing on my neck. And I'm just like, <clears throat> I started like, like I, could, I just like, I was going short, I had short of breath, like, I didn't, like, I was just losing it. So then, I feel a door open, I think they planned this, matter of fact. The door open, and then, I'm looking in the mirror, and I see all three of them walking behind him. Oh, man! This nigga, what is it? Why did this nigga leave? Why did this nigga leave? These niggas, bro, these niggas is not this. These niggas is not his mans. These niggas is not his mans, bro. They're not, bro. So then I turn around. I'm, Everybody I'm the same age here, still, right? Like, all up on me. And I'm just like, <gasps> I can't breathe. Like, I couldn't breathe. <clears throat> so then one of them. He came up to me and he kissed me too. I was like, no, Ugh. this is not gonna happen. This is not going down. You're my brother's friends. And then it was like, like they they really ignore what they ignore everything that came out of my mouth and I said that. <clears throat> so then he reached into his pocket. And when he reached into his pocket, this nigga pulled out a train and ran the train all over my body on my <laughs> It all took turns with the train. It was running a train on me. Like, vroom, vroom. like <laughs> I was like, yo. 
So my brother come up, he's up the stage, he's like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, he's like, <clears throat> do you realize we've running a train your sister? So then my brother like, what? He's like, we've running a train in your sister. They took up the train, yo. Yo, we was just weak. My brother was really about to buy these niggas, but when they show him the train boy, anyways. She set up the train joke pretty damn good. Need her own comedy show. A cold summer morning. Up next, we also have Just Sick. Woman exposes her ex-boyfriend for texting and requesting naked pics from a 13-year-old girl. Fucking weirdo, creep-ass, dirty-ass, nasty-haircut-ass, ugly-ass, sweaty-ass, stinky-ass nigga. This is our Darius D. Look Damn. Damn. Started off giving up this nigga a, 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 a full government name. He looking pitiful, too. Somebody must have whooped his ass because it looked like there's some we could cheer up on the this nigga look fucking pitiful i done busted him for being a pedophile um i went into his phone and usually usually sorry about that usually i don't <laughs> go in people but something told me to go in his phone he kept hiding his phone i went in his phone and found out that he was texting a little girl oh, she man. was no more than 12 13 14 years old i'm gonna post videos and and all the text messages that he was sending to the little girl um, he was asking the little girl for her. Wait, but we need to see who the person you talking about private is. Private part picture, her ass shots. Oh! He was asking her to hump stuff. He was also asking her to, this is Darius Dean, he was also. Thank you, thank you for giving asking us. Asking the little girl to um suck on a lolly. Oh my gosh, bro. Niggas like this, bro. They need to be like, this, like I need, there need to be a, a business that gets opened up. And there'd be, a, I, I would be like the face of the business where it's like where you need somebody to come through like you send in certain things you send in what's going on with proof and everything of somebody just being straight scumbag asshole bullshit ass nigga right you send it in we, you know we we uh we audit it we look at all the different um things that are getting sent in applications and junk and once we say oh yeah yeah this individual are Darius oh yeah Come on, guys. It's you and like five niggas. All of us, six six foot up, 200 plus pounds. And we pull up, act like you know everything normal, and just beat the brakes off a nigga. Beat the fuck out of him. Boom, 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 boom. Just beat the fuck out of a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Treat him real bad. Make him feel like just, just do him dirt. You know what I'm saying? They need a real business. I, it'll be a uh, Dior. It'll be and it'll be called something nice. It'll be called some Dior's um, Dior's mobile uh, Dior's mobile. Uh, Y'all finish it for me in the chat. This nigga is a pedophile on the low, and I'm his ex girlfriend. And I found out everything about him. He's here with me presently right now. As you can see, we've been at hell and war. Yeah. This is our Darius D. I can see. I can see. Oh my gosh. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't nothing. Like the video, sub up, comment up, hit the notice, and binge the rest of the videos on the channel, man. With that being said, I'm gone.